In this video from Southeast Hutto near South FM 1660, you can see a suspect who was circled in a neighborhood trying to hide from police. He saw the vehicles coming down the street, but he didn't see the drone. He ran through backyards and jumped fences and goes to hide in some bushes, but officers are able to track him down. He eventually comes out of the bushes with his hands up and gets on the ground as the officer approaches. Police say this underage suspect was previously suspected of car burglaries and the drone was used to help find him after those. Once he was released, he had to wear an ankle monitor but cut that off. And in the case in this footage, police were looking for him for violating probation. With officers on foot, he probably would have been successful. Had it not been for the drone being able to detect this thermal heat signature. Taking off. The drone can help officers track down suspects and missing people. It can let them know what people are wearing and whether or not they're armed. Chief Yarbrough says in this case, they could tell the suspect wasn't armed, so they only went in with the taser. The response and the use of force was consistent with the situation. The drone takes less than a minute to put up and the drone pilot listens to radio traffic and gives directions to officers. The police department's drone program only started in October of last year. We were able to see the return on the investment, which has been an added value, and it's been a recurring theme of, of success that we've experienced from it. Mayor Mike Snyder says he wanted to show what the police department can do. And when they do really well over something, you know, like this drone footage, I'm like, to me, this is something we need to show because to me, the, the deterrent is the most important thing. I'd rather have the criminals not even come to Hutto than to come to Hutto for us to catch them.